lovers, how are you guys doing today? So I'm excited for this video because I'm going to be talking all about my March favorites. I cannot believe that it is already April. April is my birthday month. I love the month of April. You guys already know. Amy all April. It's happening. Alright, so one of the products I'm most excited about this month is the Flower Beauty Miracle Glow Satin Finishing Powder. I was hesitant to buy this because I saw that it actually has bad reviews on Ulta. Like, it's only like two and a half stars. Um, but I just wanted to try it out so bad because it is a satin finishing powder and I just wanted to try a luminous powder. I've heard really good things about the Lancome one, but that's not cruelty free. So I just decided to go ahead and buy this and just try it out. Um, and I actually do love it. I don't know if I actually get like an like a true glow to the skin. Like I wouldn't say it's super obvious, but I feel like I can set my face and it doesn't look super dry. It doesn't look cakey. Um, so I really, really like that about this powder. And overall, I think it's just a nice, nice powder. It's affordable and it has cool packaging. So it actually kind of does look really nice. And then when you, oh, powder everywhere. Um, when you take it off, you actually have a little bowl you can like dump into. Or um, you can use this little bowl if you want, which I do sometimes. I go in with my like sponge or you could just use the product that's already in here if that's all you need um but i think this is really nice especially for one of those people who just dumps out a bunch of product and leaves it on your vanity like it's like a nice little bowl so i thought it was cool it gives you a lot more space than a regular um loose setting powder does i tried to swatch just a little bit of it and i really don't see any glitter or anything it's just a very like tiny micro shimmers but when you put it on like the skin like there's just a tiny, tiny glow. So next up, I have the Kevin Aquan Contour Book Volume 2. I mentioned this in my favorites last month as well, and I've still been using it a ton. Just loving this cream contour shade. I've been loving to cream contour. I don't know why. I just have been liking it lately. Trying to use more, like, liquid and cream products so that my skin doesn't look as dry because it's just been so cold here in Pennsylvania, and... My skin has just been so dry, it's ridiculous. So I've been loving to cream contour. And then when I'm not cream contouring or when I decide to go ahead and set it with a powder, because sometimes I do that, I'm a little bit extra. I have been loving the Magnetic Face and Cheek Palette from Adept Cosmetics. They sent this to me a few months ago and I've kind of had it sitting on my vanity, but I haven't dipped into it that much until this month. I have been loving this shade right here, Matte. Um, I don't really dabble into the other shades as much, even though this highlighter is beautiful like it's a nice light gold highlight super pretty but I've just been loving this matte bronzer shade I feel like it's a little bit dark but it, it blends out so nice that I can make it work on my skin So I have two highlighter faves to talk about this month. The first one is the Ofra um, highlighter in the shade Pillow Talk. I've just been wearing this a ton. It's a super, super light pink shade and it's just super blinding. It's actually not what I have on my cheeks today even though it is kind of similar. Um, but I just love this here. I'm going to go ahead and apply just a little bit so you guys can see because it's super, super pretty. And there's what it looks like swatched. Super pretty. And then the other highlighter, I got this two to three weeks ago, but I have not been able to put it down. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Amrezy highlighter. Just looks like this. So here is what the inside looks like. It is so beautiful. I did a full video trying it out and everything to see if it worked for fair skin. And I have been wearing it every single day. I've been posting on um, Instagram and my Insta stories like every single day. Wearing Amrezy again. Wearing Amrezy again because it cannot get enough. So you guys probably can't see completely because of the ring light on it. But I have been using this so much that there's like little speckles in it. I can try and take a picture and like insert it on the screen. Because I can see it when it's not facing the ring light um, but I've just been using this a ton so there's what it looks like swatched it is just beautiful and I actually included this in an all-time favorite highlighters video that is coming up soon this month um, that I pre-filmed because I just don't have very many gold highlighters that I truly love um, and when I found this I felt like it was like love at first sight and the more I wear it and like even when it wears throughout the day like it just looks more wet on the cheeks it's just crazy the product that I've been loving not only this month but for a long time is the Milani make it last setting spray it's just one of my favorites I love it so much and I'm gonna 
going to be so sad when I run out because there's so many other setting sprays I need to use up before I repurchase this one. But I really, really love it. It's just... It's really good. I actually used this earlier today when I first applied my makeup. Um, and it's actually been on for 10 hours. So I feel like that speaks volumes. I didn't set with any powder except for like the spots that I concealed. Um, so I really, really love this. And I really do feel like it makes your face last all day. Well, I have two brush favorites. The first one is the Wayne Goss number 16 brush. I got this in my Beautylish Lucky Bag. And I was excited about it. I was kind of like, that's cool. Like, I really want to try a Wayne Goss brush out. But I would never, like, go out and buy one, like, full price. Like, it's pretty expensive. So, I was just excited about trying it out. And I have to tell you guys that I love this brush. I feel like it actually does the blending for you. Like, the shape of this brush for hooded eyelids is so perfect because, I don't know, something about the taper, like, I add it into my crease, and it keeps the shadow built up in the crease, but it also blends out the edges at the same time. I feel like I have this problem where I take my eyeshadow up super high when I'm trying to blend it out because I want it to be super blended, and, for like, this brush just keeps it right in the crease but still blends it. Like, it's amazing. I'm, like, kind of eyeing his other brushes kind of curious about at least the other like eye blending brushes i don't think i would like go out of my way for a face brush they're just too expensive but i've been really really loving this it's super soft okay so really quickly i have to go ahead and mention my little mug which i'm drinking delicious tea out of and i've got lipstick stains all around but that's okay um, so this says don't talk to me it's 15 days of foundation if you guys are not familiar with that taylor I don't know what her actual name is, but that's her YouTube name. Um, she is very pale, and she's known for doing foundation reviews. I actually, my Lightest Shade series, I was inspired to do my foundation swatches the way that she does because I feel like they're really helpful. But she's a little bit of a bigger YouTuber, and she does a charity project. Like, she does 15 Days of Foundation, where she tests out a new foundation every single day for 15 days. By the time you guys see this, it'll already be over. But I just thought I would spread in case you guys don't know what it is, because I didn't. I would always watch 15 Days of Foundation, but I didn't know what she was talking about when she would talk about Project Beauty Share. Um, but basically, all of the proceeds from the merch that she sells for 15 Days of Foundation goes to help Project Beauty Share and they provide hygiene items and makeup items and beauty items to women who are in shelters um, who or just in need or you know just trying to help them get back on their feet so I just thought it was super cool and I thought it was amazing that she's using her platform for something so good um, so I decided the shirts weren't really my style but I decided to go ahead and pick up a mug because I am always drinking tea like 100% of the time. So next up I want to talk about the Anastasia Beverly Hills 7B brush. I got this in a little set and I love it. So on one side is the little spoolie and then the other side is the eyebrow brush. This is like dense and but it's not like super harsh either. Like it's got a little bit of softness to it. Um, and it is super, super thin, super precise. I've used this for brow pomade and also brow powder which is what I have in my brows right now. I have the... Um, Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Powder Brow Brow Pow Brow Powder Duo in Taupe, and I've just been using it with this brush, and I just feel like it works really well. I feel like I don't know. I'm so self-conscious of doing my brows too big or too fluffy because I don't want them to take over my face because I've done that in the past. So I feel like having something so precise, like especially in the front corner, like being able to go in and like just get that color right where I want it. I really appreciate this brush and I think it's really nice and it can be kind of hard to find a good eyebrow brush so I just really really love this one. So next I have one and a half palette favorites to talk about. So the first one is the Modern Renaissance from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Um, I feel like this favorites video is very ABH heavy but I have been using this palette because it is in my project pan. Um, so I've just been trying to get use out of it. Obviously, I've not hit pan on anything yet because I stink, but I have been using it a ton and I've been loving all the looks that I create with it. Um, I love that I can do just like a super neutral look, like my go-to, like when I'm going out like to church or, you know, somewhere where I'm not trying to wear pink eyeshadow because I'm just self-conscious that I don't want to draw attention to myself. I go in with tempera all over, like, just to set everything, and then I normally use one of these two browns here, and then I use a little bit of that brown in the crease, and then I throw one of the two lid shades on, and bam. Super easy. Other half, half favorite, okay? 
Um, I try not to be the person who's like, I got this palette and I tried it for the first time. Here it is in my monthly favorites. Um, so this is my Dream Street Kathy Lights Times ColourPop palette, which is what I have on my eyes today. This look will be coming very soon in a few days or a week or two weeks. Sometime this month, that's all I know. Um, but I did film it today, but... <sighs> I have been loving this palette. I've used it three times. So like I said, I know that's not that much. That's not like an entire month. And you guys will probably see like a first impression video using this palette like literally like a week before you see this video. So I know, I know they're super close together. Um, but I just had to mention it because I love it so much. Every look that I've done so far, I've been impressed. I did kind of have like my first impression was a little, little, little sketchy, but I had a ton of different eye bases on. So I think it's such a beautiful palette. I love the color scheme that Kathleen chooses like for all her palettes, for her collabs, for her nail polish line. I feel like she goes for unique but wearable. Alright you guys, bear with me here. It's my last ABH product. This is their concealer in 0.5. I've mentioned this in so many favorites and you guys can probably see that it is well loved. And I just feel like nobody talks about this concealer. But I love it so much for spot concealing. Like, um, I mean you can kind of see it wore off just a touch throughout the day. Um, but whenever I have acne, this is my go-to concealer because it's just a, it's a pot. It's a little bit thicker, but it blends out easily. It's a very nice light shade. I feel like it blends in well with my skin tone. So I've been testing out a ton of glitter shadows for my liquid shadow battle. I know I keep talking about it and I keep postponing it because there just keeps being like more released and BH Cosmetics is coming out with some in their festival collection. I am all over that. Trust me, you guys, like I'm so ready, um, to try those out, but... It's kind of hard to have them in my favorites video right now because I'm trying so many different ones. There's not that many that I'm consistently wearing like every single day. Except for this one. This is the Pixie by Petra um, Liquid Fairy Light in the shade Crystalline. It is so, so pretty. It's like kind of a transparent base. But it has all different color glitters in it. Like all the colors of the rainbow. Um, here, let me see if I can kind of place this. I see purple, gold, green... A little bit of blue a little bit of orange so yeah I really really love this I think it's super pretty I actually have not tried putting it all over my lid or anything but I keep putting it on the inner corner of your eye okay so first off for lippies I have quite a few from Kat Von D this is their reformulated studied kiss lipstick um, and the obsession started with Ludwig which was actually sent to me through influencer um, which this is a beautiful shade like I was super happy. This was the shade that I got. It's such a nice pretty nude It's a little bit more brownie pinky and they all smell like vanilla. Um, yeah, I love this shade Ludwig It's definitely more on the matte shade matte shade no definitely more on the matte side I have really chapped lips and sometimes matte lipsticks don't look good at all like it looks like a crusty mess but I feel like these lipsticks when I put them over my chapped lips at first it's a little crazy but once they kind of sink in a little bit I feel like it actually looks decent like I'm not afraid to wear these out in public or anything and I love putting a lip gloss over them so I'm going to mention two glosses in a minute but this first one is Ludwig and this is the one that started the obsession and then Kat Von D had a 20% off sale, so I decided to go ahead and pick up two more shades that I was excited about. And now, oh, I was in store yesterday in Sephora swatching a few more. This one is Lovecraft, and I really wanted to try this one because it's supposed to be the perfect mauve shade. But I feel like I wish there, there was the perfect nude mauve because mauves on other people, like this shade, it's not as nude as I want it to be, if that makes sense. Because I'm so fair, um, which I guess I could just mix it in with something else which I do like this shade. I just think it's a little bit more like pink on me, a little darker, but it is, it is super pretty. And then the last one is actually limited edition. This is the Divine Lipstick and I'm debating on buying backups. I love it so much. It is the perfect nude if you have fair skin. Like it is so pretty. It's what I have on my lips right now. I've been wearing it a ton. I've been keeping it in my purse. Um, it's just, it's so pretty. It's the perfect nude. Like I wish this was not limited edition. So Kat, if you ever watch this video, I'm going to need you to either make this lipstick permanent or you're going to need to send me like 100 tubes because I'm obsessed. Well, moving on, the lip glosses that I want to mention. First is Pixie times Chloe Morello. This is the lip icing in the shade Cake, um, which is what I have on right now. Um, I really, really love this. It's kind of like, it's got like little glitters in it. 
but it's not gritty, which I really appreciate. I got the Dose of Colors Desi Times Katie Lip Gloss, and that one was gritty, and people said it wasn't, but it totally was. This one actually really isn't gritty at all, um, and it just has like a nice little gold hint to it, kind of like a rose gold. So I really, really love this particular shade. Love wearing it over nice nudie shades. I think that they work together really well. And then the last lip product is the Ultra Glossy Lip from Caffeine Lights. Just looks like this. It's in the shade Moonchild, and I've just been wearing this a ton. It's beautiful over other um, shades, and it's also beautiful on its own because it does have a nice cream finish. It's got a nice little amount of pigment to it. I actually wore it with this look on its own earlier, so you'll see that whenever I post the video, but been loving this. It's actually super close to um, Ludwig. Last but not least, my fails for this month I just have to mention super quickly um, is going to be the ColourPop highlighters. I hate these. They're like a glittery mess and I'm so unimpressed. I wish I didn't buy them. I'm going to try using them as eye pigments, um, but honestly, like if you don't like glitter in your eyeshadows, then these are just a no-go. I'm so disappointed by these. I just have to mention it. This is my fail for this month. I wish I did. I wish I just bought one. I don't know why I bought three. They're just, ugh, they're not good. So that's everything for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.